Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to this 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed. We are back, we're in the Assassin's Bureau, and we're going to go ahead and talk to the Bureau Leader to find out what we need to do to assassinate our second target of the game. So here we go. Altair, how fares your search for Garnier? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's Hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Well, there we go. We've got the feather. Remove this stain from Akka, Altai. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Yeah, I mean, I'm ready now, so... Let's get on with it, shall we? So we know our plan. We're going to attack while he does his rounds to check on his patients. But we're going to have to get into the actual place first. Um, but I've got a plan for that, so don't worry. We'll figure out a way to do that. Uh, I don't really want to be on the rooftops, because I want to let this be as smooth a transition as possible to get over there. So let's head... It's not too far. And hopefully this one will go as smoothly as the last assassination did, because that one we breezed through, didn't we? No problems at all in that one. So, fingers crossed for something similar this time. Let's, uh, can we take a shortcut up here? Yes, we can. Uh, and there is our ticket in, believe it or not. These guys here. Fellows, can we head inside here, please? There are other ways in, but we'll take this one because it's simple. Let me in, guards. Let me in. We're here on scholarly business. No, help! Help me! Help me! Please! You must help me! He doesn't look in a good way, does he? Oh, man, they're roughing him up big time. And here he comes. Our target. Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Oh! Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no yes. choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his. Oh, quarters. he's in trouble. I'll be along once I've tended to you the. You can't others. keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. Oh. Oh, it's brutal. Oh, God, I forgot how brutal this game is. I am so sorry. Have you people nothing better to do? I mean, you just broke the guy's legs. I mean, come on. Anyway. Back to business. We need to get inside and we need to take this guy down. Because as you can see, he's a bit of a monster. Luckily, we have some other friends here. Hello, friends. Would you like to transport me inside here, please? And we'll keep an eye out for our good old friend, shall we? We'll be doing his rounds in here somewhere. Keep an eye out for him. 
And when the time is right, we'll strike. By the way, these guys that you can see here, like this guy in front of us, they lash out at you, so just be careful. Uh, here he is. My legs. Yeah, so as you can see, brilliant. That's helpful. Them lashing out has um, made this problematic. We might die here. In fact, I'm pretty certain we will die. Yep. We are going to die. But I'm going to let that happen. Yeah, so the guys lashing out didn't help us out there, did they? We would have actually been okay there. Uh, but they made life very, very difficult for us. So let's give it another go. Luckily it spawns us in right here. These guys are so annoying. It's the ones who are like flinchy and holding their faces you've got to watch out for. So let's just keep an eye out. What we want him to do is go to a patient. Right, leave me alone, flinchy people. Right, that's better. Is he here? He's not here. But that's fine. We'll wait. We'll bide our time. Hopefully this guy's not going to lash out. Don't lash out, please. Good. There he is. Right. I can see him. No. Don't lash out. Thank you. God, these guys are so annoying. Right, so the doctor's over there. He's examining his patients. How are you feeling? What have if we can get close to him, to me? Ah, yes, we might be able to get him. It hurts at first. Really? All right, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll bide our time. His placement is very annoying, it's got to be said. Because he is right in the way. Right, we'll follow him again. We'll see where he goes to. Right, he's going this way this time. Let's see if he does his little rounds. Oh, there's another guy here. Stop it! They say you can walk now. Impressive. Been so long. Right in the way. Almost forgot how wonderful. It's I normally a lot smoother than this, I'll be honest. Why did you help me? <laughs> this because is a particularly bad spawn for a lot of these enemies. Or patience, as they're probably oh, they're right in the way. Right, can we follow him over this way? If these guys leave us alone... My legs! You bastard! You broke both Just... my legs! I have your head! Jesus! <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Do you know what? We might be able to kill him. Why, what? Why can I not hit him? What's going on? We'll, we'll give it a go with the counter kill. Oh wow, we got him. I'm amazed. Unless now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know. What will become of my children? You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wills? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. 
Ah. But then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the Peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. Interesting. He really, really thinks that he's helping these people with what he's doing. Uh, okay, luckily we've got full health back. But we're going to have to get the hell out of here. I mean, that could have gone <laughs> a lot better than it did. But, you know, we work with what we've got. Oh, okay, this guy is um, giving us a bit of grief. Uh, where is the way out of here again? Did we run past it? I think we ran past it. Uh, there's a window somewhere that lets us get out. I've got to remember where it is. Here it is. And away we go. I love how the music like properly kicks in on this game when you're on your way out. Right, we'll hide in here for a minute. And we're good. We are good. But the guards will be on very high alert. So we'll have to plot our route back a, a little bit carefully because as you saw there, we were spotted by someone. So if we get spotted on the roofs by some of these guards, they are going to go straight to trying to kill us. So we're just going to need to be a little bit careful. Uh, can we make that jump? Yes, we can. And we're in a little bit of trouble. But we'll go for that yellow thing there. Just keep moving. Right, where was that guard? He's all the way over there. He's never going to find us. He should drop down to street level, hopefully. <laughs> Eventually, yes. <yeah. laughs> it's just going to glitch out for a while there. Yeah, that could have gone a lot smoother, couldn't it? Um, those guys thrashing out really caused some problems. But we got there. That's the main thing on this second attempt, just about... <laughs> I've definitely done smoother attempts than that one, that is for sure. Whoops, that's not the way in. Yeah, normally I can get sort of straight in there, blend in, just get straight to the guy, assassinate him and get out, but that was a bit hit and miss, wasn't it? What news, Altair? Gagne is dead. Then you should return to Masayak with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them and experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Why is he bobbing up and down like that? Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. And we're safe again. Target has been eliminated. Return to Al Mualim. I believe it will take us straight there. Yeah, okay, let's go straight to Masyaf. We can do it ourselves if we want to. The sort of travel back by horse, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually amazed we managed to take down Garnier with the um, sword. 
on that second attempt. Have you news for me, Altair? Gagne yep. Denaplus is dead. Excellent. We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet... What is it? The doctor insisted his work was noble. And looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them. And that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser things. Bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. There are plants, Altair. Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings, men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a garden, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace. Then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. Excellent. Extra bit of health. And we get some equipment back. We get the throwing knives again. And we gain the ability to tackle. Which is basically fast running, or free running, and the circle button. But yeah, the throwing knives can be pretty useful. Um, we're probably not going to use them too much, to be honest. I tend to use them more in other Assassin's Creed games than I do in this one. But yeah, Garnier is down, which means our next target will see us going to Jerusalem. So we've done all of this left part of the DNA. Now we'll have to go to Jerusalem to assassinate Talao, which we'll be doing very soon. We'll head across again on the horse. Um, I won't be doing the horse journey on camera. I'll do what I've been doing, just getting just outside the city and then heading into the city. Uh, but I think that's where we'll leave it for this episode, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.